Go. Where are you gone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be building an awesome pond style build for my baby turtle, Timmy. I don't know if you can see him there. He's very small. Um, he's doubled in size actually now since I first bought him about four months ago because he was a tiny little hatching then. But anyway, let's get on with the build. Right, so here we are in my old studio, which I've now converted to more of the reptile room. I've got a few tanks in here already. This is my storage tank. Oh, that's very bright. <laughs> this is my sort of plant nursery tank that I've got going on. It's quite a cool little thing. It just means that we can keep the plants growing and alive um, in the same way that they would be grown, to be fair. But anyway, this is the tank that we've got to use. It's a cool little shallow tank. I'll overlay all the sort of um, dimensions, literage, gallons and all that. So it's it's a good size for, for a baby turtle. I mean, he's like this big in here, so it's plenty big enough. The background there is just a little bit of um, like kitchen countertop that I got, and I just got it for free actually at the local hardware store. <laughs> uh, we call it home base here in the UK. And it's, yeah, it just sits there nicely. And then on the top, we've just got a cheap little LED strip light, which I've attached some um, wiring to, and it just hangs there. So you don't have any sort of anything attached to the tank, which is great. So that is the basic structure for the retaining wall complete. You can see there that there's a pocket right at the back. That that's where we're going to put all of our substrate into and start stacking it up. I actually want it all to be higher than this, but I need to build that level up first before I can then sort of lay stuff coming inwards on it. And I've deliberately kept this area here low so that Timmy's got like an area to perch on because they don't like to come right out of the water, but they like to sit near the surface and he better sit in his UVB lamp and just bask in all its glory. I don't know what glory I mean. So that's all our soil filled in, that's all the area we're going to be planting in. But for now I want to step away from that and start building up the decorative sand in the foreground. We need to be a little bit careful with this because usually I like to do like the coarser bits of gravel leading down and grading down into the fine sand. So you've got like complete variation of grain sizes. Can't do that for this build, I need to stick with small sand and then larger pieces of gravel because Timmy will try and eat the, the medium sized pieces. And they can actually get stuck inside his body and kill him. So we need to be careful to take all those pieces out, I'm going to have to do all that by hand it's going to take a while but it'll be worth it So that's our colours taken care of. I think the sand looks far more natural now. There's a lot more sort of variation rather than just pure white silica sand. And now I need to go through the painstaking task of going through this lot and just picking out the more coarser stuff, leaving out any of the fine pieces. Kind of like that piece there, look, that's 
That's the sort of size that could get stuck as he grows. So we don't want that. But what we do want is pieces like that. Right, there's our result. That took a while, but that's basically all the bigger pieces there. Look, you can see he's not going to be able to choke on any of those, but there's lots of smaller pieces in there. So yeah, it might look a bit odd. There's probably some more I can go for as well. Add a little bit smaller pieces if I've got the time, but we'll just stick with that for now and see how it looks. Well, I think that's turned out excellent, actually. It's not too much. And as you can see, I've piled in sort of more bits closer to the rocks and then just left the other areas a little bit barer. Timmy's gonna push all this around anyway, but hopefully the bigger stuff sort of stays similar to where it is. But overall, considering I've had to compromise for the species of animal we've got, I think it still looks really natural and really good. And it's only gonna get better when we start getting all the greenery and mosses and everything and all these nooks and crannies. Oh, really looking forward to it. So guys, it's always important to give credit where it's due. And a lot of the tips I'm getting for this build is from Shrimpery. Uh, you might know him from Instagram. I'll leave his account linked below. And also he did like a, a how-to video himself on doing ponds. Uh, mini ponds, you know, nano ponds, shallow ponds, that sort of thing. I'll also leave a link in the description to that. Really good video, probably better than mine. <laughs> but yeah, he says that you use moss quite a bit to, to plug gaps near the top areas or anywhere like that. So I've got a whole tank full of moss behind me. I'm gonna pick out little bits from that, stick them to stone, stick them to twigs, and just start building up that little retaining wall a little bit more with some greenery, rather than just being the rocks and the bogwood that we've got at the moment. Now usually on new builds I like to use cotton thread to sort of tie the moss onto the sticks or the or the rocks or whatever you're putting it on. And that creates like a really neat flush finish. But for this style of build, I want to go for more sort of a, a rough look. So I'm going to use glue because it will keep it kind of scraggly and more authentic looking is, is what I think anyway. Could be completely wrong and it look a complete mess, but <laughs> hopefully not. Right, so that's worked out pretty sweet. I think that looks quite cool. It's a little bit of a mess. So we can trim it all back and get it a little bit tidier when there's water in there. But you can see what I've done in this top section here was a completely flat spot. Looks a bit rubbish, a bit sort of unnatural. So I've added glue to the top. Now the problem is we wouldn't be able to get water up there. So I've also added it coming down into where the water level's gonna be. And it'll act as a wick actually and pull the water up to the top. So everything will stay moist on its own without having to worry about it. Like, you know, waterfall features and, you know, pipe work and all that, so yeah, that should be pretty good. But next we need to add on some more plants and they need to be the hardy plants because the turtle's gonna be climbing all over this. So we've got to really go for the Anubius, Bucephalandra and the Java ferns like we traditionally would in the underwater section. If we're just using fish, I could go for lots of other different types of, of plants, but you know, it's a turtle, <laughs> they're like bulldozers. <laughs> So that is looking fantastic. Now I want to add in some pieces of Java fern as well, but I don't want your big adult piece, adult pieces, you know what I mean? Like big pieces of Java fern. I want to keep it small scale. And to do that, I can pick off some baby leaves that are actually growing in the tank you can see behind, <laughs> you can see behind me. So I don't know if you guys know this, but when a Java fern leaf starts to die off, loads of baby shoots come off of that dying leaf, which is just how it reproduces. It's amazing, really. You can get so many plants out of a dying java fern. It's, it's nuts. Anyway, let's have a look. Click subscribe. Oh, 
Oh, now you're talking. Now that's looking great. I think I'm going to leave that for now, though. I'm really happy with how it is. I might add a few little details here and there later on, but I think I should start getting in the pond plants now. After all, it is a mini pond, and we need pond plants. And to do that, I need to go to the shop and get some. Right, where are we going, Doodlebug? Um, to the fish shop. <laughs> yep. Right, in you get. Oh no, we haven't got a seat for you. <laughs> no, you're not a big boy yet. There you go, climb in and we'll strap you up. Yeah, then you put Batman on. I'll put what on? Batman. Oh, okay. <laughs> We are here. Hello, doggy. Did you take your seatbelt off? Yeah. Oh, what, just then? Yeah. Only when we stop, yeah? yeah. Good boy. Look at that elephant. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of him? He's really good. Pretty good? Yeah. Right, go, go, go. <laughs> right, here's all the pond plants then. We got loads to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> I want like a grassy one. This one looks nice. Yeah. I've got no idea what it is. It's quite big though, isn't it? Some that, nice grassy ones there. Can I read that? Can I read it? Yeah, it says, Hello, Henry. <gasps> <laughs> it says, Hello, Henry. <laughs> that has says, This is plant fish. Plant fish? Yeah. <laughs> What does that mean? That means, that means, oh look, all the arrows go there. That's right. Maybe we should follow them. Okay, I found some really nice ones. Look at these doodles. Yeah. That looks stunning. You've got to go that way. <laughs> this is really nice as well. Oh, we've got loads to choose from. I think I'm definitely going to get this. I think I'm going to get this whole thing. Both of these work well together. This hair grass is nice as well. I think that's the same thing. It's just like not as sprouty. Go. Where are you gone? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want one of these as well. I think that looks really nice to you. That one yeah, that one at the front, yeah? Mm -hmm. Eliocaris palustris. Wouldn't be right to come in the shop without filming this amazing puffer, would it? Mm. What'd you say to him? Hello. <laughs> Hello? Look, he looks like he's smiling, doesn't he? <laughs> it's a, it's, if he talked, he'd go, hello. <laughs> hello. So I'm back home. I've got the plants right here ready to put in. But over, I just want to show you something. So this sand and gravel and aqua soil and whatever it is, it's just a mix of some old stuff from another tank. But I just want to make sure it's got a little bit extra nutrients in it. So I'm going to put in some of these like root tabs from Tropica. It's just normal sort of nutrients really. And all you do is just take them with your tweezers, push them into the soil, let go, and cover them back up again. Easy. I'm going to put about three in this area, three or four actually, and then that'll be enough. And now it's time to prepare our pond plants. First of all, dig the plants out of the soil that they've been grown in. We then want to remove a lot of the soil, but not all of it. We still need some of that nutrients all around the roots. We can then make a little pocket in the soil that we've got in our tank and put the new pond plant nice and deeply in and pack the soil around it to make sure it stays upright. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's looking. <laughs> I love that. Now, I'm just going to fill it up with water to where I want the water line to be, put in a little temporary filter, a little internal one, because I'm waiting for a mini canister filter to come. I'm going to drill some holes in this. So just put, well, actually, I might just run it and not drill. We'll see. We'll see how it looks without drilling first. 
But yeah, I want a nice canister filter with just some inlet and outlet pipes so it looks really, really tidy. Otherwise, I'm going to spoil the look, I think, by having a filter inside. But wow, I'm really impressed with how well that's that's come along and looking really good. This area here is going to be like a, a cool little perching area for Timmy to go on. So I might just put a flat rock or something in this gap here rather than more plants. I could put some more plants from this lot, actually, in that top section as well that's gonna look really good so yeah just fill it up with water now and just get a little little filter going just to keep it clean whilst I'm waiting for this new one to arrive So it's been several days since we set up Timmy's tank. It's going perfectly well, but I had to wait for this new filter to arrive, but it's here now. And here is the filter. So this is from All Pond Solutions, not affiliated at all, but it's a cute little cheap thing. And I thought, you know, buy it and mention it. If you want to get one yourself, uh, leave a link for it in the description. Nice and cheap. Uh, they don't ship to the US though, but never mind. So yeah, we've got this tiny little inlet and outlet there. And we get shush, please. Shush. It's the camera again. Yeah, anyway, back to the filter. Let's get this all set up on the tank. It's actually got green pipe work with it. Yeah, I managed to find these little bits of pipe so I can use those so it'll look nice in the tank. Right, so usually the spray bar would just sit across the top like that, yeah? But that's right out the water. So what I've done, it's just added a little bit of clear pipe for an extension and then it should actually sit down into our water line. Perfect. So the tank is looking so, so sweet, but I think it's now time to introduce Timmy to his new digs. Now I am expecting him just to hide straight away, but you know, you've got to get used to his own setup first and then I'll come and do some nice filming later on. Mm -hmm. 